Hello everybody! Let me tell you that for holidays I decided to come to a little and very cute town here in Slovenia called Kranska Gora. And because I'm taking these like mini vacations, I didn't bring any of my cameras but my cell phone and my GoPro. So I started to take pictures with my phone, but because I didn't bring my computer, I'm editing all the pictures on my phone. Now there are a lot of applications to edit photos in your phone, but two or three are the ones that stand out. And when I say two or three, I mean the ones that professionals are using when we want to edit photos in our phones. From the three famous ones, you have to pay for two of them. I mean, these two also have these uh, free versions, but let's be realistic. If you don't pay, you cannot use them 100%. Now one of them is completely free. You don't have to pay anything and you can use it 100%. And that's the one we're going to use now to edit one photo. Let's see how it works. Oh, by the way, the name of the app is Snapsit. Snapsit is an app from Google, but you can find it in iOS and also you can find it in Android as you can see because I use Android. So we're going to click open and you can see here the layout is very simple. In the middle you have the plus button, so you press it, you can choose the picture that you want. We're going to choose this picture. And on the right side there is like a bar tool where you see on the top like a rainbow. This rainbow means that you have here all these presets that you can choose. I prepared a pack with a lot of presets for you if you're using Snapsit. Just wait until the end of the video to see how you can get it, okay? But now we're not going to use presets because that's not the point I want to show you how to edit so we're going to go to the tools here in the pencil we're going to start with the cropping okay and by the way I made a course for you it's a master class it's more than two hours where you can learn everything into detail so just wait until the end of this video because I have a surprise for you about this course okay so we'll start with the cropping by default you can see the aspect ratio is five by four that's good because that's where Instagram and I want to post it in Instagram so we're gonna do it like this it's very nice but we're gonna grab the corner and make it smaller because it's too much snow I don't think I want that much snow now my main subject is the house so I'm gonna try to center it I think there is okay we press the check and we have the cropping already done we're gonna go here to the tools where it's the pencil again and now we can start with the curves because this is normally the second thing I do. Now, actually, I do white balance as a second thing. But in this case, I saw that the white balance is okay, so I don't need to do anything there. So I'm going to do the curves. With the curves, I like to do the S curve. So I'm going to make a dot in the middle and then I'm going to make another dot here and I'm going to pull it up a little bit. I'm going to make another one here and I'm going to pull it down a little bit. I'm actually already giving a lot of contrast in the picture. I like to mute the blacks, so I'm gonna go a little bit here and also the same on the top, so we mute a little bit the highlights. There you go. And I wanna give a little punch to the darks, so I will go here. If you can hear down the channel, you can actually do curves also in the colors specifically. We're working with the RGB now. And also if you come here in style, you have a lot of options here, you see, presets of curves, okay? But we are doing the curves by ourselves. Okay, I think that is it. We're gonna click check. If you wanna see how the picture was, you just touch the picture. Don't release your finger, just touch the picture and you can see now how it was. And if you release your finger, you can see how it is right now. Let's go back to the tools. Now we can go in order. Let's go to tune image. And then on the top, you see brightness. If you use Lightroom or Photoshop, that's called exposure. So brightness and exposure is actually the same thing. So we don't wanna add exposure or take out exposure because it's perfect. I mean, the picture is correct already. But in case you wanna add, you just move your finger to the right side or to the left side to take out the exposure. But I think it's okay how it is right now. Now, if you move the finger up and down, you can see that you have more options. Now you have contrast. We wanna add a little bit of contrast. Then you have saturation. We want to add a little bit of saturation. Then you have ambience. Ambience is very nice. Ambience is actually like the dehaze in Photoshop or Lightroom. If you go to the left side, you can see what it does. And if you go to the right side, you can see what it does. We want to actually put a little bit minus in DK, something like that, because it gives this contrasty picture. And it's something that I want because it's a lot of snow and it makes the photo very soft. So contrast is very nice. Now let's go to highlights. We're going to take out highlights because the sun is reflecting too much into the snow just a little bit and we're going to recover them adding shadows and then in warmth i don't want to add anything because because it's cold it's cold we don't want actually to do this like a sunset you know even though the picture looks very nice but i don't want that i think if we go to the other side i think i want to leave it how it is 
but it depends it's up to you what you like you know because actually this is actually also very pretty cool but no we're gonna go to the natural photo that's how i saw it if you come to adjust here on the bottom you can actually see the things that we did and auto adjust of course here you can also press it and it's gonna adjust the picture by itself but this is not something we want to do now so we're gonna go to tools again because we still have details and now in details we're gonna play with the structure if we exaggerate we can see that it gives a lot of details that it make the picture not that natural so we're gonna take it out but add add a little bit let's let's leave it there then we're gonna go to sharpening we're gonna add some sharpening but don't exaggerate because when you add sharpening also you are adding a little bit of noise and we don't want that okay we press check and we are done we're basically almost done so we're gonna use selective in this case i'm gonna press the house in the middle and it's a b appearing which means brightness or exposure but now it's just the house so surrounding the house is where the effect is gonna happen if we go to the left side you can see exactly what i'm talking about as you can see it's just selecting the house so we don't want that we're gonna leave the brightness how we said we want it but we can add a little bit of contrast a little bit of saturation actually saturation we're gonna take out the saturation because it's called when you add saturation the house becomes like blue and we're gonna go down in a structure and then here we can add actually more details because we're just adding to the house you know and now we're gonna also do another selective but we're gonna do with the guy there with this red jacket so we click here in add and we click the guy and now we have another one to him no brightness again he's surrounded by a lot of brightness come on he has a lot of snow we can add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of saturation, structure, and I think we are done. The last thing I want to do, we're gonna use the healing here. Now, we wanna heal the bottom left corner. There is like a little black spot there that I don't like, but you have to move the picture and make it bigger with two fingers, not one finger. You need two fingers, okay? Two fingers to make it bigger. And now with one finger, we're gonna paint here and it's done look it's erased if you don't like this one for example you can do like this erased okay but two fingers look how fast it erased the picture it's amazing now you can still see some here in the bottom left corner a little bit like it was erased but remember that we zoomed in a lot that is not the real thing when we zoom out remember using two fingers you zoom out then you cannot see the problem you see it's incredible this is artificial intelligence is understanding what is happening around and it just recover the image i'm repeating two fingers when you are in this tool use two fingers because if you want to do something with one finger look what's going to happen oh yeah here i want to i want to move the picture here boom so don't worry you come here on the bottom it says undo you undo and then you learn the lesson two fingers if you want to move the photo two fingers okay <laughs> Now just click check and we're done. If you press the photo with the finger, remember, you can see how it was and how it is now. Now, if you want to export the picture here on the toolbar on the bottom, you see this arrow. Click in the arrow and you have four options. The first option is share. You can share the picture however you want. WhatsApp, Messenger, however. Then you have save. You're going to actually save the picture to Snapseed with all this that you did, all the, the editing that you did. So if you want to change, you want to add, if you want to do whatever you want in the future or maybe later, you can save it and you come back later to keep editing. But if you are organized like me, you will use export as and then you will select the folder where you want to export this app is amazing and let me tell you that i have a course a full course it's a master class of more than two hours where i'm explaining everything into detail so that you can start using the app snaps it as a master i'm gonna leave you a link in the description with the super discount for the first 20 people who wants to get the course it's a link that is gonna take you to udemy so you're just gonna go there create your account click in the description and you're gonna get the course again with the super discount for the first 20 people to get it and that's not all just to put the cherry on the top if you get the course and you go to udemy send me a message saying mario i follow your channel so i will be happy to respond that comment giving you a free pack with a lot a lot of presets to edit faster actually it's gonna make your life easier that's how good i am yeah i'm a nice person i'm a nice person okay don't forget link in the description for the first 20 people who get it. it's gonna get a super discount okay and now until next week yeah.